Hey guys, Christine Ibarra here. New mascara. Let me share this really quick and I'm gonna get going. I want to demonstrate this mascara on my other eye. And can you tell that I am wearing, can you tell that this side is matte and this side is not matte? Hi Angie. Can you tell? Can you tell? Hmm? I want to show you this. I just got it in the mail today. I'm going to tell you all about it. Hey, Dana. Okay, one more share. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I have been wearing the Botanical Foundation by itself. Um, when I first got a sample, I had no primer, so I wore it without primer and I liked it. Um, and then I, yes, Heather, and then I got the spray primer and I tried that and I wore the foundation with it, nothing else on top, and I loved it. Um, and then I also put the setting spray on top and I loved it. But guess what? This perfect, it's called Perfect Press Powder. And it's just translucent because the, um, the botanical foundation is 50% pigmented. So you don't need to add, hey guys, hey Kristen, hey Jennifer. You don't need to add like a press powder with any pigment to it because your foundation has you covered already. So all this does is set your foundation and create a matte look. So I just used a fluffy brush and I put it on half of my face and look at the difference. You can set your under eye concealer with it. You can use a brush or a blending bud, dry or damp. I did my chin already. So I started here and I did the whole thing, right? And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do half of my face and see what it looks like. So, um, yeah, isn't that crazy? So, okay, so let's do the other half. We'll start with my circles and then um, do a little contour because can't live without contour. I'm just kind of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Packing, blotting. I'm not like brushing back and forth dabbing I guess I don't know I'm just dabbing this on yeah Kristen so I'm gonna show you stippling there we go oh she's so good you're so good Dana and then um, I'm also wearing the new um, enduring lip color the liquid matte lipstick in macaroon just got that today too and check this out I hate putting powder on top of my nose. I don't know if you guys heard me talk about it before, but I have like um, a lot of bumpy texture on my nose, um, like from large pores. And whenever I, oh, hey, thanks. I just threw on some dark eyeshadow really quick, um, brownie points. But um, uh, what was I saying? I don't want to blank. Oh. This does not make, it doesn't like collect in my pores on my nose and it doesn't make it look cakey at all. It's smooth and matte. You guys, I was scared to try this. Scared. I thought for sure it's going to look cakey. Look at this. So I have mascara on one side. You guys, I'm pretty darn happy. I'm so glad I took a chance on this makeup because there was a lot of stuff that I didn't try but the stuff I did try I loved look how it took away the shine and I use um, a concealer that's a little bit lighter than my foundation like just a tad um, okay so so then okay here's where I have to learn 
Yeah, okay, so let's do a little bit of bronzer next to contour. And then we'll do a little bit of blush and then we'll do the finishing spray. Now, um, Brittany, my girl Britt, she said that she likes to, cause she has oily skin. Hope you don't mind me calling you out, Britt. Um, she gets oily skin throughout the day and she likes to do the setting powder, the finishing spray, and then the setting powder again to keep her makeup from coming off. I'm calling you out, Britt. <laughs> I'm just doing a little bit of contour because <sighs> contour is like the best, the best. Okay, contour is done. Let's get a little bit of blush and then we'll do the finishing spray. I just want a hint of color. Yeah, especially during the summer, she says. Um, there we go. Bring it over a little bit. Okay. Um, all right, so let's do the setting spray. Now, I think you're supposed to do the setting spray before the mascara to make it so that you don't wet the mascara and then it might like, um, what you call it, get on your eyelids. So I might just like cover my eye. Can I cover my lashes? Okay, hold on, I have to close my eyes first. Ooh. Okay, let's let it dry. Okay, that is 10 years younger um, finishing spray. So I'm gonna let that dry. Oh, I'm digging it, you guys. Um, oh, by the way, I got my non-latex blender full. It looks really big right now because it's damp. Oh, I didn't even catch it, Britt. Um, so it's damp. I use it to put on my foundation and my concealer. It comes with a travel magnetic carrying case. Look, this reminds me, uh, I told Rudy, it reminds me of like a doggy travel bag that you put your little tiny doggy in or like on an airplane. <laughs> um, Anyways, yes, so I love that Blenderful. It's perfect for applying the foundation. Absolutely, my favorite way to apply the foundation is with a damp blending bud. And that's totally new for me, totally new. Um, okay, so the finishing spray is dry. So let's do some more setting spray. I mean, <laughs> perfect press powder. I'm getting used to all these new names, you guys. And I'm gonna avoid the um, the bronzer area. I'm just gonna do like the shiny parts. I'm checking it out, you guys. My nose doesn't look disgusting. I am so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so now I'm having way too much fun. Okay, so now I did two coats of mascara on this side. This one. Um, let's just put a third one on. This mascara, I believe, is water resistant. It contains fibers that are built into the formula. It is one tube and one step. And it's buildable. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let's do this eye.
I dig the brush or the wand, whatever. I always have these like long lashes in the corner over here that like don't know what to do. Like doesn't know like whether it wants to be with this group up here, friends, or this group down here. It's like all around friends with everybody. Let's just be up and down. So I like to um, touch the back of the tips for extra length and thickness. Ta-da! What's one thick coat? I have those two, yes. These lashes, they wanna be everybody's friend. Ta-da! Okay. Let's do the bottom. My boys are watching Despicable Me too. I hope Facebook doesn't flag me for that song. I better keep talking. Whenever you get quiet, that's when Facebook hears the music that you're playing. Yay, Dana! Okay, let me let it dry and then I'm gonna do another coat. I am so impressed with that. It's not called a setting powder, but it's, it's a pressed powder. I guess it's a translucent, it's called Perfect Pressed Powder. That's the name of it, but it's like a translucent setting powder, but it's pressed. <laughs> okay, let's do another coat. I really like that there's no clumping. Um, yeah, I like that the tips don't look furry. Um, there's one color, Angie, and it's black. Ta-da. Looks good on everybody. This is $20. So it's cheaper than your average fiber mascara. Lachelle, this is Limelight by Alcone Perfect Mascara. If you go to my website, www.confidenceandcurls.com, it will take you to this section um, if you click makeup. Thank you. I really like um, the fact that they look long and not clumpy and I'm putting on like extra coats too Of course, I always have my lash comb handy, but um, I don't need it Look at that you guys So cool. Okay. Did I get anything else? I got a bunch of makeup in today. I got um, business supplies in. I'm fancy. I look, oh, who's that? Hey, girl. Some blitz cards um, and my business cards, too. They look so classy. Where did they go? Ooh, so sleek. OMG. Hello. Um, yes, I'm totally ambidextrous, totally, but I write with my left hand. I throw a ball with my right hand, bat left, cut right, totally. Talented. <laughs> okay, guys, so um, that's it for tonight. I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Please feel free to shoot me a message if you have any questions about the products or the business opportunity um, because OMG, it's amazing. Like seriously, stop what you're doing 
and message me right now. Um, but that's it for me. I am so stoked about this powder and this mascara. Um, so anyways, guys, I'm going to go freak out on my own and I will talk to you later. Bye.